Rinala, Queen of the Full Moon, was once the most powerful and respected astrologer in the lands between. Unfortunately, her backstory of betrayal left her with nothing but a broken heart. What happened to her, and who exactly is Rinala? Let's get into it. Hi guys, I'm Slick, and today we're talking about the entire story of Rinala, Queen of the Full Moon, and Master of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoy learning about the lore of Elden Ring. In her younger years, Rinala was quick to learn lunar magic, perhaps the best of anyone in the entire academy. She quickly became a prominent name and a champion. After eventually becoming the master of lunar magic, she established a house of Caria as royalty, and led the Carrion Glenstone Knights. These knights were heroes of the highest honor, anointed by Rinala. And even though there were less than 20 knights in total, their power and mastery of magic made them a tough match for anyone who opposed them, even the champions of gold. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Lindgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyurnia. Rinala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the academy, and her great room dwells within the egg she so dearly clutches. When Queen Merica's new age under the Erd Tree began, she sent out a champion known as Radagon to lead her armies against the enemies within Lyurnia of the Lakes, where the Academy of Rhea Lucaria existed. This caused a huge issue for Rinala and her Carrion Knights, who fought for two whole years trying to fend off Radagon and his army. In the end, neither side saw a clear victory. Radagon eventually decided to repent for his aggression against Rinala and her lands by cleansing himself with Celestial Dew, an item which allows one to carry out an absolution at the Church of vows and atone for their sins. Radagon then pledged his love to Rinala, marrying her at the Church of Vows and uniting the houses of the Urtree and Caria. Rinala then gifted Radagon a greatsword as a symbol of honor and tradition, which later became the Golden Order greatsword resembling the Elden Ring itself. Rinala and Radagon had three children together, being Radon, Rikard, and Rani, but unfortunately their marriage wouldn't last forever. After Godfrey, the first Elden Lord and spouse to Queen Merica's marriage fell apart and he was banished from the lands between, Radagon Radagon took this opportunity. He left Rinala and married Queen Merica, becoming the second Elden Lord. As he departed from Rinala's side, he left an amber egg containing a great rune, the great rune of the unborn, which becomes important later in this story. Rinala and Radagon's children were now the demigod stepchildren of Queen Merica, officially family members of the Golden Order. Sadly and unfortunately for Rinala, she was left with nothing. Nothing but an amber egg containing a great rune. Losing her family, her husband and children and she was left heartbroken and weak. Academy scholars soon realized her weakness and began to see her as no champion or master at all. The Academy soon rebelled against Rinala and the Carrion royal family. Under the assault of her own students, Rinala would eventually be locked away at the very top of the castle within the Academy's grand library. And this is where she would stay. With the only thing left being her amber egg, loneliness, betrayal, and grief would slowly take their toll on her and slowly cause her to lose her mind. Eventually, she would find herself devoted to the art of reincarnation using the Amber Egg's Great Rune of the Unborn. She would use the egg's power on juvenile scholars from around her in the academy. Rinala would continuously rebirth them, reviving them over and over with the Great Rune after they died. She would begin to call them her sweetings. Sadly for the scholars, the rebirthing process was far from perfect, corrupting their memories into nothing and leaving their bodies frail, broken, and mangled. These beings, all short-lived, all rebirthed by Rinala, over and over and over. Eventually, a Tarnished gains entry into the Academy of Rhea Lucaria in search of the great rune kept within Rinala's egg. Spoiler warning ahead for anyone who hasn't been to this part of the game yet. After fighting their way through the entire academy, they fight Rinala within the library that she's been locked away in, weak and clutching her amber egg. The scholars sing to form a protective barrier around their queen as the Tarnished fights through them. Though just as they are about to kill Rinala, they are interrupted by the voice of Rani, her daughter, and placed into a a vision of a knight with a gigantic full moon. There they find Rinala, but not weak and frail as before. This Rinala is powerful. This is the younger, powerful version of her, back when she was the respected master of the academy and leader of the Carrion Knights. Here, the Tarnished battles with the actual Rinala in her true form, eventually defeating her and claiming the Great Room from within her Amber Egg. Rinala is left alive by the Tarnished, but once again alone, sitting in a chair in the middle of the empty library, still clutching the egg the only thing that she has left. Though, she does seem willing to help the Tarnished going forward. Did you enjoy the story of Rinala? Thank you for watching, and let me know which Elden Ring character you'd like to hear about next. <laughs>